Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. What's up? What's up? We are here having some grown folk talk and conversation, and I am doing it in a very comfortable way. So how you guys doing? What you want to talk about? Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's talk about some real grown folk stuff, okay? Let's talk about some grown folk stuff. So what if you go out? It's the weekend and you, you know, going out with your friends and have a great time and everything is flowing cool. You're having your drink, drink. It's going good. You're having laughs. You're having fun. And woo, you meet someone that's cool. They seem to have it going on. They approach what's on point. Their look, the words that they said, that sexy air they gave you everything so you had a few drinks with them and you still kicked it with your friends and and then it kind of turned out to a after hour kind of thing you know you get together and you go to a spot and you're still kind of gigging and having a good time and it's quite a few of you there that decided to hang out and then things started to wind down now, you're getting kind of physical with this person. You're hugging a little bit and kissing and touching a little bit. But you really don't want to go there on the first time, you know, the first night of kicking it with them. So you kind of hold back. You hold back. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because some people, grown folks, battle with how far should they go. When you have determined that you're not going to or you don't want to go there as far as penetration is concerned sexually and you just met someone, how far should you go? I mean, some will argue that it's not sex if you decide to orally please one another. But then again, it is. But some will argue that. Some will say, well, what's wrong with a little touch and feeling and sticking and doing all this, you know, but not actually penetrating. So we didn't do it. We held out. But is that teasing? Is that giving a person false hopes and getting them all aroused and frustrated and pow, you're not going to give them any? And not only do women do this, men will do it too. They'll go to a certain point and decide, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Now, they don't tell the person. They'll just stop doing what they were doing after she's all built up. And women are so, so guilty of that. So how far should you go when you're rolling around in the hay? and you have an attraction and you've hung out most of the night with somebody and now it's time to turn the lights out or go home. Shouldn't you have a, taken your butt home a long time ago? Hmm. What's your thoughts, grown folks? We want to hear. Let us know.